Morrisville Motor Speedway is all set up and ready to race. And we're over here in the series I can satellite radio studios. Hello everyone, I'm Jack Roberts with Scott Miles and Car Speed. Hello everyone, and we welcome you to this week's presentation of the NASCAR Sprint Cup series on the Competition Racing Network. Last Friday was another great was another great Duracell World Racing League race. Oh yeah, indeed. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the Sharpie 500. Oh, snap. Let's see how, how everyone's, let's see what, what everyone's talking about. Scott, take it away. All right, these headlines are brought to you by Domino's. We changed our name from Domino's Pizza to Domino's because we're more than pizza. Domino's. Oh, yes, we did. All right, so to kick things off, we got Joey Coulter on the pole and headed for the Sprint Unlimited. We now have crowned seven different winners, most recently Eric Alma Rolla in the 43, who will be rolling off fifth today. Other headlines include Allen, who, who had a mediocre qualifying run, and the winner of the Daytona 500 still has yet to lead a lap, and Junior is coming. In fact, I even think he took the point lead just by finishing ahead of Allen. In the last week's race. So, not content with that. Even more so, another big headline is Derek White, who was pretty much penalized for unsportsmanlike conduct and action misdemeanor to stock car racing. They're giving him a three, NASCAR figure of agreed to give him a three race suspension. Derek White has said he'll take a five race vacation. Meaning he's gonna go down in the standings, and David Starr will fill in the hole for the 19 car. Yeah, that's gonna be something interesting. Interesting. So now the question is, who's going to advance? Yeah, and look who's back on track, Tony Stewart, as he finally qualifies for a race. First time in a while we've seen him on track. And of course, Kevin Harvick, who debuted, debuted his new sponsors, there's a Sonic and Budweiser and NRA. He's got a new, he's kind of taking some paint, paint design changes. Yeah, it went from white and silver to blue and silver, and my gosh, it's glorious and cool. Yeah, so there is that. And of course, we now go to your starting lineup brought to you by Adidas. Adidas go all in or nothing. Thing. Proud sponsor of Alan Mitchell, number 50, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series team. It's Connor, your turn. All right, starting 23rd, we have Tony Stewart. We're in row 11, starting 22nd, Michael Annette, Jeff Gordon in 21st. Row 10, in starting 20th, we have Casey Mears in the number 13, and Chris Busher in the number 32. Starting 19th. Oh man, row number 9 in the 18th. AJ Allmendinger, who had a great run last week, actually, with Justin Allgaier right, be, right next to him in 17th. Row number 8 in the 16th, we have Kurt Busch in the number 86, and Kevin Harvick in the number 4, starting 15th. Row 7, we have Dale Jr. in the 88 car. And Johanna Long in the number 41 car. Row number... Wait a minute. Row number 6, we have... We have Alma Jolie in the number 50 Adidas Chevrolet. And Ryan Blaney in the number 90 Nintendo Ford. Row number 5, we got Denny Hamlin in the 01... In the 01 Toyota... In the 01 Toyota. And Travis Quapel in the number... 12 Dodge. Row 4, we got David Starr, who's filling in for Derek White. And if Derek White does, if David Starr does well, I think they might have a new 19 driver. And Alex Bowman, the showman. Row number 3, we got Jamie McMurray and Eric Amarola, last week's winner. Row 2, last week's runner, Kyle Larson, and last week's runner up. Sam Hunter Jr. and the front row, starting second, Jared Hildebrand in the 81, and Jerry Coulter in the 77. That's all the time we got for, got here for the pre-race show. 
when we come back, we're actually going to go rumble in, in, in Bristol. But first, let's get the command. Drivers, start your engines. Engines have now roared to life, and we'll be right back here on the Competition Racing Network. To be Monsters University Scares, you have to train hard and do your grunts with scary good Subway favorites. Disney Pixar's Monsters University in theaters June 21st. Rated G. Subway, the official training restaurant of Blake Griffin and monsters everywhere. I will fuck you up! I like you. Do you like me? Happy. 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 <laughs> You can't just wish and hope for something to come true. You have to make it happen. I told him about that! You fuck with me! You fuck with your back! Next on News 7, why your kitchen may just be the most dangerous room in your house. We gotta get out of here. Good thing Dish offered us his iPad and we signed up for the Hopper so we can watch all our live and recorded TV anywhere. Next, why your treehouse is even more dangerous than your kitchen. We gotta get out of here. Good thing Dish offered us his iPad and we signed up for the Hopper so we can watch all our live and recorded TV anywhere. Think you're safe under a queen-size bed in the guest room? Well, you're dead wrong. <laughs> Only Dish offers an iPad with the Hopper so you can watch all your live and recorded TV anywhere. Let's take every drop of courage, every ounce of inspiration, every bit of determination, and go where we've never gone before. Introducing the radically new Avalon. Toyota. Let's go places. They don't give out a trophy for protecting our country. There's no confetti or victory show. There are no cheers. What there is is something more important. Eternal gratitude. At NASCAR, we all stand united in honoring America's military and their families. Join us in saluting our heroes at nascar.com slash salutes or by using hashtag NASCAR salutes. And we are moments away from finding out who will win. The Sharpie 500, Joey Coulter and Jerry Hildebrand start on the front row. Green flag in the air, Joey Coulter takes off like he got shot out of a cannon. It's in worst year out of second as we head for lap number two. Joey Coulter leads the first lap. And trouble! Around goes Joey Coulter. And Sam Horst Jr. will now lead. He gets a point for leading lap number two. We're going to get the restart here on lap number three. Pace car is off. Green flag back in the air. And Hildebrand's going to take off. Larson can make this pass on the inside. Man, that was pretty cool. Larson will lead lap number four officially as they come around turn number four. And complete lap number five on board with Kyle Larson as we now head down the back straightaway into turn three. There we go. And we now complete lap number six. We're on board with Alan Jolie. And trouble! Trouble! Right in front of the pace car, too! Ryan Blaney. Casey Mears, Chris Busher, Joey Coulter, your lead, and they're stopping right before the start finish line. Kyle Larson is your leader. Jared Holder in second. Sam Horst Jr. third. Eric Amaral fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. fifth. Alan Muccioli sixth. And if you're wondering why we're under the red flag, as we go take a look down through your field, Joe Hamilton being the last car to stop. There's your reason why a seven-car pileup, including Ryan Blaney, Casey Mears, Chris Busher, Joey Coulter, Michael Annette, and Tony Stewart. They have not been having a good day. And, of course, you all know what that means. The red flag is out, and it's time for the Sharpie 500 Red Flag Show here on the Competition Racing Network. So, after the break, we are going to get to your Sharpie 500 Red Flag Show. Brought to you by Duracell. Duracell, trusted everywhere. And there's your champion, Kevin Harvick. As we...
getting breakfast at Sonic. If half of your brain wants something sweet, you can get Cine Snacks treats. If the other half wants something savory, you get a breakfast burrito. Right. Well, that's cool for you. Yeah. If your brain has two sides. But all brains have two sides. Mm -mm. Mine doesn't. Every brain has two sides. No. No, my doctor says I only have one side. You know what? I wish that your brain was smart enough to understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about your brain. Hmm. I lost you after I wish. Breakfast two ways all day. Breakfast burritos and new Cine Snacks. This is how you Sonic. That is one nice ride you got there, kid. You guys still gonna take me in? Not yet. <laughs> Bold moves. They happen every day. I would say old Harv, myself, That's and Logano were in the right place at the right time. As soon as it went green, the whole inside lane just kept digging, and then we all had four tires on. That's what paid off. Amazing, you know, seventh, ninth, and 11th ended up uh, one, two, three. I mean, you just don't see that every day. Sharpie 500 live from Bristol Motor Speedway, where we are actually going into the night. Why are we going into the night? Uh, practically, some track officials figured out, discovered that, the, that debris has been scattered all over the racetrack, and they practically wanted to get cleaned up. And we all can use this week's Red Flag show. So, and all the cars are pretty much all the way around the, at the start finish line. Your top six, top ten actually, Kyle Larson, J.R. Hildebrand, Sam Horns Jr., Eric Almarola, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Alan Lucioli. Me, Jamie McMurray, Alex Bowman, the showman, David Starr making his Sprint Cup debut, and Kurt Busch rounds out the top ten. And in case you guys are wondering why we are underneath the red flag, there's the first reason. There's the main reason, actually. A six-car, seven-car tie-up includes that involves Tony Stewart. He'll finish 23rd. 22nd going to Joey Coulter, the pole sitter. 21st going to Michael Annette. 20th going to Chris Buescher. 19th going to... The 13 to Casey Mears and Ryan Blaney going to finish 17th. And so the NASCAR, so the cleanup, so the safety crew is actually going around the, the entire turn one and two, seeing if there's extra debris. They've been at for hours. And so we've had a long day here at Bristol. Pretty much. Meanwhile, so let's go to some of the headlines. I was looking to make, looking to get an eighth straight top ten. Can he do it? Is the question. Okay, meanwhile, Dale Jr. looks to, looks to either extend his point lead or take the point lead. We haven't. No standings have actually been tallied. I'm just kidding. Dale Jr. is the point leader after the NRA 500. Okay, and David Starr in his debut is is currently tracking top ten. Can he finish there? Is the question. And is he going to be the future of Viper Racing? Yeah, that's what everyone else wants to know. Well, it seems to me that they're saying that there's no more debris, and we can finally go back to racing. So, we're going to take a commercial break, come back, after those things all actually cleaned up, and we will go back to racing here on the Sharpie 500. Thanks for watching the Red Flag Show, and this week's Red Flag Show is brought to you by... Brought to you by... Mega... Welcome to the next level. Left Twix, cookie, flowed with smooth caramel and bathed in chocolate. Unlike right Twix, a bar made by common plagiarists. Twix, try both, pick a side. What's that taste, that rice, that rice? Creamy with a crush that hits the spot. The perfect combos, what you got? A bowl of Reese's Puffs. Puffs 
cereal. The perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolatey flavor. R double E S E S. Yes. B to the U double S S. Yes. R double E S E S. Yes. Make Reese's Puff cereal an epic part of a complete breakfast. Built two-cycle trimmer for just ninety-nine dollars at Lowe's. Welcome back to Bristol, Tennessee, where we are getting ready for the restart of the Trophy Five Hundred. Kyle Larson leads over Jared Hildebrand. He has chosen the outside. Good call on his end. We got the one to go signal. Oh, so it looks like we're going to see something happen here. Here we go. Green flag in the air. We are back underway. Kyle Larson got shot out of a cannon. He is going. The race is now on for a second. Back on board with Alex Jolias. We watch Alex Bowman go around. The caution is back out. Kyle Larson continues to lead and he dominates here at Bristol, Tennessee. With Gerald Durant right behind him. There's what we're chasing. Who's going to win it? We're going to find out after the break. Here on the Competition Racing Network. Start with nothing. Build a groundbreaking car. Good. Now build a time machine. Go here. Find someone who can build a futuristic dashboard display. Bring Future Guy back. Watch him build a TFT display like nothing you've ever seen. Get him to explain exactly what that is. The thin film transistor display. Mm, maybe not. Just show it. Customize the dash. Give it park assist. That fuel efficiency flower thing. Send Future Guy home. His work here is done. Destroy time machine. Win some awards. Send in Brady. That's how you do it. Easy. Welcome back to Bristol, Tennessee. We are getting ready for the green white checker. Pace car is off. Green flag in the air. Kyle Larson gets shot out of the cannon. If we go on board, down into turn two. On board, same horse here as he continues to chase down. Kyle Larson, white flag in the air. It's over. Kyle Larson has dominated this race. Sam Horsier won't let him win this race, though. Here they go. Kyle Larson wins. Kyle Larson wins his first NASCAR Sport Cup Series race. And he's going to smoke him down. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Go? Ah! On board with Kyle Larson for the entire trip there. Congrats to Kyle Larson and the 45 team for winning as they are now all-star racing bound. What a race we saw here in Bristol, Tennessee. Coming up, the post-race show here on the Competition Racing Network. Don't go anywhere. You really couldn't come at a better time. These Chevys are moving fast. I'll take that Malibu. Yeah, excuse me. The Equinox in Atlantis Blue was mine. I was here first. It's mine. I called about that one. It's mine. 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 It's mine. Mine. It's mine. Mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Better get going. It's Chevy's Independence Day celebration. The Chevy Independence Day celebration. Now, current Chevy truck owners can trade up to this 2013 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition with a total value of
the Magic Lady to a sharpie 500. We're getting ready for the post race show and victory. Post race show is brought to you by Balboni. It's not clean unless it's Balboni. So, why don't you take us to the final, to the finishing result? Alright, guys, this week's finishing result is brought to you by Duracell. Duracell is trusted everywhere. Five sponsors for World Racing League. Alright, and today's victor is. Da 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 da! For the first time in his Sprint Cup Series career, Kyle Larkin. Second place, Sam Warner Jr., a second straight week in a row. Third place, Dan Earnhardt Jr., fourth place, Kevin Harvick, fifth place, T.D. McMurray, in sixth place, Kenny Hamlin, seventh place, Kurt Busch, J.R. Hildebrand, finishing eighth, ninth place, David Starn, who gave you race, substituting for, for Derek White. The 44-year-old rookie who got suspended after misdemeanor actions to start racing and unfortunate conduct. Yeah, not to mention he cursed he cursed out a media member. Or too bad we lost the file. However, he really had bad proof for it. Anyway, Jeff Gordon finished. Tenth place, eleventh place, ever Camarola. 12th place, Johanna Long. 13th place, Alex Bowman the Shaman. 14th place, Justin Algeier. 15th place, AJ Allmendinger. 16th place, and finally getting that string of top 10 here going for him. Broken today, Alma Jolie. Fun side, fun side note, I've, I have covered Alan since the Archetype of the Series. Car, yeah. I have watched every race he runs at Bristol. Never finished top 10. And it doesn't look like it's going to be changing anytime soon. <clears throat> and 17th place going to Travis Crapple. Well, 18th place going to Ryan Blaney, first car who crashed out. 19th going to Michael Annette. 20th going to Casey Mears. 21st going to Joey Coulter, who led the first lap and third on the pole. Looks like it was going to be a good game, as it just spun out. 22nd, Chris Busher, and then 23rd, Tony Stewart. Ugh, man. That 14 team did not get anything going at all. Meanwhile, his, his other teams, like 77, 80, 86, and 4, they're, they're just rolling around. After all the time we have from Bristol, Tennessee, Nick Spurrier, you're, you're going to be on. We're going to be in all Richmond International Raceway. Please, meaning the Spirit Soul World Racing League, we'll get another Saturday Spotlight. That's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> so, until then, until next Friday, I am Jack Roberts, Scott Miles, Connor Speed, we're signing out, and that's the Good Night Satellite. And that's the title racing on the first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win. Oh, and next week we have a very special announcement. We have good news resolving around the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. We won't tell you what it is until we get to Richmond. See you then!